Colorado Cross Disability Coalition's 2016 Election Voters Guide. Colorado-based, disability-specific ballot information. Video 2. Candidate Information. People who want to be elected. Who is on the ballot? The President of the United States. Your main choices are Hillary Clinton versus Donald Trump. United States Senator from Colorado. Your main choices are Michael Bennett versus Daryl Glenn. Colorado Congressmen and Congresswomen. Depending on where you live, you may be voting for other people, like state senator or state representative, school board members, district attorney, RTD board members, and whether or not to let judges keep their jobs. It's easy to find out who you will be voting for you just have to look at your registration or your mail-in ballot. Your mail-in ballot. The ballot you received in the mail has all the information that has to do with you and where you live. This includes people on the ballot that are only in your district and issues that are special to where you live. There is a website to help you. On your computer or with some help, type this address in your search bar, www.sos.state.co.us. Once again, that's www.sos.state. Dot co dot us. The page you want is the Secretary of State website. It has many links that help you learn things about the government. Look for the section that says Programs and Services. In that section, you want to click on the Elections and Voting link. The new page has an elections and voting section. Now click on the voters link. Find your voting information. Find the Manage My Registration part of the Secretary of State's website. Click on Find My Registration. On the new page, fill in the boxes with your name, zip code, and birth date. Note, the zip code you need to use is the same one you used when you last updated your voter registration. Click on Search to find your information. Now you can see your voter information, including the things that apply to you. Scroll all the way to the bottom of the web page to find your districts. This is based on where you live. Use this information when learning about who will be on your ballot and what local issues will apply to you. Let's look at the candidate section of a sample ballot. Remember, each ballot is a little different depending on where you live. Choices for president. You will vote for one pair. Notice that you have more than just the top two choices when voting. You can even write in the name of someone you think should be president.
choices for senator. You will vote for one person. Notice that you have more than just the top two choices when voting. You can even write the name of someone you think should be senator. The rest of the choices are different for each person depending on where you live. This voter's guide is going to look only at the issues that affect people with disabilities. CCDC cannot endorse or oppose any candidate. We pose questions to ask and things to think about when you are voting. We suggest that your vote should be influenced by disability rights issues. When we vote fully or partially based on a candidate's views on disability, we increase our collective political power. The best thing you can do to protect your rights is to educate yourself before you vote. Learn as much as you can by using the blue book you will get in the mail. This is a ballot information book. It gives the official pro and con on each ballot initiative. Think of pro and con as the good and bad of each issue. It also provides information about judges. You get to vote on whether they can keep their jobs. You need to know that the Blue Book may fail to address specific issues that affect people with disabilities. Learn as much as you can by listening to what the candidates say. You can go to an event or rally for many local candidates. You can also get in touch with them through their websites. You can ask questions on issues that are important to you. For the presidential race or the U.S. Senate race, you can search the candidate websites and their personal histories to see how much they care about issues that are important to you. Do you hear the candidates talking about disability issues? Ask the candidates about the Americans with Disabilities Act. The Americans with Disabilities Act is under attack. The law has been around for more than 25 years and people should know and obey the law and the rules. Some people are trying to limit what the ADA can do. They want to make people with disabilities tell a business that it is breaking the law before they can file a lawsuit. CCDC thinks you shouldn't have to be the one to tell a business when they're wrong. This makes it hard on the person with a disability. It can be really hard just to find out who the owner is sometimes. The candidate question. Will you say no to anyone that wants to change the ADA or limit its strength? Ask what the candidates think about Social Security and employment. Most people with disabilities want to work. Most people with disabilities can work. Sometimes they can't work full-time or regularly. Social Security says a disability means someone can't do any job in the country. This makes people not want to work because they are afraid that Social Security will say that if you can work, even a little, then you are not really disabled. This might mean losing benefits. The candidate question. What ideas do you have to allow people to work when they can, as much as they can, but provide security for those unable to work enough or consistently to survive? Learn about the candidates by asking questions about disability issues. Here's another question you might ask. Candidate question. What do you think the government should do to help people with disabilities get jobs? Ask the candidates about teaching kids with disabilities. People with disabilities continue to have a hard time being allowed to go to school. 
in the country and in Colorado, not enough kids with disabilities graduate high school. Nobody is being held responsible. The candidate question. What do you think the government should do to make sure kids with disabilities get to go to school? Ask about including people with disabilities when making rules. People with disabilities know what we need. We know what is best for us. Decisions about rules that affect people with disabilities must involve people who have lived with disabilities or have a strong connection to the disability community. The candidate question. Will you promise to include people with all types of disabilities in all decisions that will affect our lives? Ask about school and jobs for children and adults with disabilities. People with disabilities have a lot to give to those around them. If they can and are able to get help to do so. We still face many things that get in our way. Only 67.4% of kids in special education are graduating high school in Colorado. Fewer than 30% of people with disabilities have full-time, year-round jobs. The candidate question. What ideas do you have to improve school for children with disabilities and to increase jobs for adults with disabilities? Ask about Medicaid support. People with disabilities often need help from Medicaid programs that provide equipment, attendant care, even when we have jobs. The candidate question. How will you help people with disabilities that need programs such as Medicaid? Ask about affordable housing. It has become really hard for many people to pay their rent. This is very true for those living on low and fixed incomes. This has a big effect on many people with disabilities. The candidate question. What will you do about the affordable housing crisis to make sure people with disabilities can afford a place to live? Make your vote count. Learn as much as you can before you vote. Know which candidates will support people with disabilities. Now that you know about the candidates, let's learn about the issues. The next video will explain about the amendments and propositions that are on the ballot.